Hey guys, it's Joe with Average Joe Locksport. We got a another opening to do. This one is from Lockpicks, LockpickWorld.com. So let's go ahead and open her and see what we got. I've been waiting for this for a while. Ordered it, went out of stock, came back in stock. I missed that order. Had to wait about a month for it to come back into stock. And here it is. What we have is... the core puller oops sorry about that if I bumped the camera guys so oh this thing weighs a ton this thing is like really really heavy so there's the core puller Looks like a couple gaskets. Soften the blow. These are the universal plates. Looks like we have two of these. Oh, you got to be. Oh, no, it is. I thought they sent me. I opened it up. It looked like that. I'm thinking, oh, crap. They sent me the same one. But open it up there. Euro cylinder regular cylinder so there's the two plates and we got the viper screws also 4.2 which are the smallest ones and the tip that goes with it there is the 4.8 I'm sorry, 4.2. The next one are the 4.8. And again, the tip in there for the 4.8. And the big boys, 5.5. So, let's put them side by side so we get a different or a different view of them all side by side instead of one at a time. All right. And there is all three of them of the Viper screws. I like that they're color coded too. So there's the Viper screws. It looks like two, four, six, eight, ten. Two, four, six. Uh, two, four, five, six, eight, ten. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Yeah, there's ten in each bag. Two, four, six, eight, ten. So there's the Viper screws. Couple round gaskets. Again. The two different plates for the two different lock cylinder types. Again, Euro cylinder, round cylinder, regular cylinder. 
and the core puller itself. And we are going to try it, not on this video, obviously, I want to do a practice one, but we're going to try it on these two locks here, and I seen it, I'm just trying to remember one thing, yep, run the screw in, it's got the little U shape right here. Slide it across the screw you ran in. And then just start to turn. And as you can see when I'm turning it, this whole round part where the screw is in, you can see it where it would be pulling the core out. Alright guys, that's it. Just wanted to give you a quick look on my Bell Core Puller. And got a couple more locks in. Got one little cute Abus lock. But we're not going to kill these guys. But we will kill these guys. And I do have... I'm not sure if this is it. But I think I have two of these. So if I can find my other one, we'll kill this one too. So that will be my very next video. So if you guys like what you've seen, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Other than that, guys have a good day. Bye.